Hello, in this presentation, I'll be showing you how to write a procedure that forces the user to enter a valid email address. It allows the user to enter an email address, but it will only accept it if it's valid. Now, I'll define what a valid email address is. Uh, it'll be defined by me as an email address that ends with at gmail.com. And it has to be greater than 10 characters. If it's 10 characters or less, it's an invalid email address. If it doesn't end with at gmail.com, if it doesn't end like that, then it's an invalid email address. So I'm going to define my procedure. I'm going to call it enter email. I'll press enter. And I'll allow the user to input from the keyboard their email address. And that'll be stored in a variable called email as text. I'll also be counting the number of attempts, that, how many attempts it took for the user to enter that valid email address. I'll initialize this variable called attempts with the value one. And I'm going to use a while loop and the user will be stuck inside this while loop until they enter a valid email address. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at the last 10 characters, counting from the end, the last character at position minus one, counting back from the last character all the way to position 10. So this will return the last 10 characters of that email address. And if that does not equal at gmail.com now if that's true then I'll know it's not a valid email address or I'll look at the length of the email and if it's less than or equal to 10 characters then it's not valid so I'm using the all there and only one of those conditions has to return a true for the entire expression to return a true. So if the last 10 characters are not equal to gmail.com then that whole expression will return a true. Um, if the number of characters are less than or equal to 10 the whole expression will return a true. And if that's the case, you'll be stuck inside that while loop. And um, the next thing I'll do, if you are finding your way inside that while loop, I'll give you a chance to get out of it by entering your email address again. And I'll increment the variable attempts. I'll increase it by one every time you find yourself in that while loop. Now I've indented uh, from the left uh, those two lines of code. They are in the while loop. I'll press enter and then backspace. And that way I'm out of the while loop. And now I'll now that I'm out of the while loop, so when the user eventually comes out of that while loop, and that'll only happen if both of those return a false. So the last 10 characters do not equal 
at gmail.com, that has to return a false. The last 10 characters must be at gmail at gmail.com. But this also has to be false. Both of those have to be false for the whole thing, the whole expression to return a false. And once that happens, you're out of the loop. And if that's true, if that's the case, then your email address is valid. Now I'll print the number of attempts was, and you'll see the number of attempts. And then I'll print to the screen what your valid email address is. I'll press enter. I'll press enter again. So now I'll test it. I'll enter. I'll, I'll call the uh, procedure. I'll, I'll type in enter email. And so now I'll just type in some, some text here. I'll press enter. And quite rightly, I find myself uh, inside that while loop. Uh, this time I'll just type in at gmail.com. Now that's really 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's got to be more than 10 characters to be valid. Huh? I'm stuck inside that while loop. So I'll type in some text. I'll put at gmail.com. And I'll embed that in some text. Well, that's not good enough because at gmail.com has to be at the end. So I'll, uh, I'll type in some text at gmail.com. That's more than 10 characters. It ends with at gmail.com. I press enter. Number of attempts was four. That's true. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. And that was my valid email address. If I do it right in the very first go, I wonder what will happen. One attempt works just fine. So that's how you write a procedure to validate an email address in Python. I've tested it, so it's working reasonably well. Thank you for viewing this presentation.